MGCAS stands for Manual Ground Collision Avoidance System. And what a ground collision avoidance system is designed to do is warn the pilot of an impending impact with the ground. What's neat about the F-35 MGCAS system is that we can actually specify a minimum altitude. Pilot doesn't want the aircraft to descend below. How we test that here at Edwards is we actually steer the aircraft towards the ground, but the way we can do that safely is that we actually set the altitude to be high enough to where telling the jet that the ground is significantly higher than it actually is. Therefore, the auditory and the visual cues that the pilot sees will occur well before he's in any danger of impacting the ground. Most of the testing on the GCAS system is actually done in the labs. They run through thousands and thousands of simulations, and by the time it gets to flight tests, we only do a minor representation of the whole flight envelope. So it gets pretty rigorous testing, and then we confirm that the system does work. Ground collision avoidance systems are designed to prevent cases of CFIT, which is controlled flight into terrain. The majority of these CFIT cases are caused by loss of situational awareness, spatial disorientation, and G-lock, which is G-induced loss of consciousness. What a manual system does is provide protection against those first two, because the pilot has to manually recover the aircraft himself. So the warfighter will now be protected against loss of situational awareness and spatial disorientation. The future of ground collision avoidance systems is being tested right down the road here at Edwards. The F-16s are currently at the end of their phase of testing for an auto ground collision avoidance system. What this auto system does is that it will actually take control away from the pilot uh, to recover the aircraft, and this protects against that third cause of CFIT, the uh, G-induced loss of consciousness. So if the pilot loses consciousness, the jet will actually take over and prevent the aircraft from striking the ground. Have defined attitudes where we'll roll inverted, for instance, and one of them will be 45 degrees, nose low inverted, and we'll have the chevrons come in and give the pilot a cue that he's got to recover. We'll test, make sure all the displays are functioning correctly, and then we'll make sure that the altitudes are all functioning correctly. Our aircraft response model is correct accurately predicts how much altitude you're going to lose once the pilot does react. We feed all that back into the computers, we tweak it a little bit, kind of an iterative process, and then we come up with a pretty good solution. It's a safety system designed to save pilots.